<laughs> hey there, and welcome to this very special, super exciting interview. I am Taylor Proctor, and with me, I have two amazing and incredible business owners, Holly and Anna, and they co-own a business together, and they are so incredible to talk to us today about marketing because they are actually two of our <laughs> keynote speakers at the Get Good at Business Virtual Summit, which is happening March 15th and 16th. So, so excited that they're here. Uh, Anna is Anna Loveless, yeah. and she is a wife, mother of four, if you can hear her little ones in the background a teacher, a runner, and of course, an entrepreneur. She started her first side hustle as a college student and never stopped. From freelance work to business ownership, she has often multiple side hustles at once, and she currently owns two businesses and loves the personal development that comes with entrepreneurship. And then joined with Holly and I is Anna Robbins. Anna is a wife, mother of two, personal trainer, and of course, entrepreneur. She has a skill for taking struggling businesses and tweaking its marketing and turning things around. She currently owns three businesses and loves the connections she makes through business ownership. So Anna, Holly, thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you for being so willing to share your experience and help our business owners get good at business at the upcoming summit. Thank you for having us. Yes. Thank you. Awesome. So what you guys are talking about at the summit is money mindset marketing. And before we get into like what your presentation is a little bit more about, I would love to know how you guys came to this situation of being uh, co-owners together. Obviously your bios mentioned you've always, you've been entrepreneurs for years and have several businesses, but share with us how uh, money mindset marketing really came to be for the two of you. Yeah. So I have a background in finance and in math. So the money side of things is, has always intrigued me. That's kind of been my favorite part of entrepreneurship is like keeping track of the sales that are coming in, the, the people that we're reaching out to numbers just kind of click with me. And so I, I like counting money. I like seeing it come in. I like making money. Um, so that was kind of part of it. Along with that is the mindset side of it. And I think mindset in general is key to entrepreneurship. You can't really be successful in your own business if you don't understand the mindset that comes with that. Um, and then Anna, I'll let her talk about the marketing aspect of all of that. Yeah, so we came up with the marketing side, obviously, because we are really, really into marketing in both and all of our businesses. And all of our businesses are very unique. As you heard from the beginning, we have several businesses. They're unique, but they also all kind of follow under the same umbrella because we basically have turned our passions into paychecks. And I think that's really important um, to find out what you're really passionate about and then help it to make you make money, right? That's what we're all about, right? Um, and so that's the whole marketing piece that we're going to get into is how if you have the right mindset and if you're marketing appropriately by turning your passions into paychecks, then you can make money and you can be successful. And we're really excited to share about how, those experiences. I love that. And I think it's interesting too, if you wouldn't mind sharing with us what your other businesses are, because I think it's important to note that part of the Get Good at Business Summit is that it is meant for business owners in many industries of all types, because the I Move Method, which if you're just watching this, stands for Intuition, Marketing, Operations, Velocity, and Execution. The iMove method is the backbone of the entire event. And we have expert speakers in each of those areas. And you two are one of our presentation spots that are experts in the marketing piece. And so I think it's super important to call out that what you are teaching is diverse or can match a more diverse group of industries and business owners because you guys have very, several different businesses. So if you wouldn't mind sharing, what are your other businesses? Yeah, so the one that we co-own is called Book a Pro. Um, and that kind of merged from my personal training business and Anna's house cleaning business. And we merged them together. Um, and now we allow really any type of pro to come to your home and work with you in your home and provide services. So we have house cleaning, lawn care, personal trainers, um, tutors, we're adding services all the time. So that's book a pro. I also own a company called one perfect business, which is essentially a franchise development company. Um, and so we take a business that's well-established and we can turn it into a franchise. We also can take 
a person that's looking to make their dollars work better for them and invest in a franchise and take a business and roll with it, use the systems and processes that are already there and have a successful business to walk right into. I love that. And you mentioned one of Anna's businesses, but Anna, tell us, tell us about it again. <laughs> yeah. So, um, co-owner of Book of Pro, which originally was Small Home Big Love, and that was a cleaning company, um, met Holly, and actually, it's really weird, I knew her husband in college, <laughs> and it's like a long, funny story, <laughs> but anyway, so we've connected many, 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 many years later, and, and now we are building this business together, and it's been really awesome. Um, Holly is she mentioned that one of her businesses building franchises, but she's a great business mentor. Um, she has a lot of experience and a lot of um, really good things under her belt that can really help you to be successful. So it was a perfect partnership of joining both of our minds together for Book of Pro. Um, and then, of course, Jason's as well. Um, so um, that's one of them. And then the other one is Mom Pod Co., which is actually a child care company. Um, it's a child care company we have lots of locations that we're starting to open but we also do pop-up child care and we also focus on helping moms to create their own pods and um, within their own homes so that we can make child care more accessible and affordable all across wherever um we're, we're in utah now but hopefully we can grow and really help this child care crisis that's going on um by making it affordable and more accessible for families and then my third business i actually um, do grant writing as well um, so I have a freelance grant writing business. So I help companies and organizations to be able to fund their businesses through grants. Um, so, yeah. I love that. And I mean, everything you guys have said, all it, of course, it's business. It serves a need, right? Whether it's childcare, whether it's uh, taking your business to a franchise model, whether it's grant writing, whether it's cleaning, like all of those things, finding the pros, like that all serves a need for our audience of uh, of business owners, right? So, so fascinating. And I love that you guys are speaking and, and being such good experts for our audience all about money, mindset, marketing. So in your description of your presentation, you say that it's more than just selling a product or a service. It's about forging genuine connections and inspiring action. Share a little bit more with us about that. And if you guys have success stories about how you've utilized or how your clients have utilized money mindset marketing, we would love to hear it. Yeah, so I would say um, just along with what it says in our description, um, essentially, you don't want to present yourself as a business owner as the hero of everyone's story. You don't want to say, look at me, I'm so good. You should hire me. You should you should work with me. I'm the best, right? The idea is actually to make them the best. If you can put yourself in a position where you are guiding them, um, that's going to be what leads them to action. If they recognize that you are the guide that's going to make them the hero, that's going to make them stand out as the best of whatever they're trying to accomplish, then that's where the marketing really happens. That's what really leads to them taking action. I love that. And so do you have a story of working with clients where uh, they were maybe showing up in a space where they were the hero versus the guide and how you were able to help them shift that? Yeah, I can share one. And I know Anna has one too. But um, when I was doing the personal training business, um, there was a client who essentially, um, she just wanted to change a lot about her, her weight, her image, her mindset, her nutrition, like all of her habits. She just needed like a whole life transformation. And instead of coming in and being like, I'm going to change your life. Basically what I said is I will give you all of the tools that you need to change your life and become the person that you want to become. Um, and that was, that made the deal right there. She was like, Hey, sign me up. That's what I want. I need someone to walk me through all of these things so that I can become the person I want to become the hero of their own life. I love it. Exactly. So Anna, what about yeah. you? Uh, success stories and also what is your take on those genuine connections? Yeah, so mine is definitely 100% genuine connections. I think that is so important. In fact, all of my businesses have been 
built upon networking, honestly. Networking, meeting people, being in the right place. And it hasn't been Google ads. It hasn't been Facebook ads. It hasn't been all those things that I think sometimes people, when they get into their business, they think that's the only way I'm going to be successful is if I have amazing SEO and I'm in there Google adding and Facebook adding. Yes, those help, especially if you can do it well. Um, but I've honestly built all of my businesses simply off of my passions and a word of mouth and networking and being the right place in the right time. And I think that's so important to kind of be able to have that shift where you can be able to do both and be able to really develop a story that is so personal that it reaches other people. Right. So I do childcare and it's honestly was like not in my plans. I love kids, but I don't want to watch a zillion thousand kids. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't yeah. and so I have great teachers and I'm so grateful for them because they help so much but um I got really passionate into it because of my personal story as a single mom and having the struggle of finding child care and finding it and making it work and then when I got into it I realized oh my goodness you know what there's a big need for the providers, right? Nobody talks about the providers and their struggles. They're always talking about the families that are struggling, but the providers struggles too. And they also have families. And I got really passionate about it. And then I started going into advocacy programs and doing all these things. And that's really what's gotten my name out there. And it's what's connecting me to other people. And I want to say this because this is so important to me too. I truly believe in the power of collaboration over competition. Mm -hmm. And that is part of this mindset shift, right? And those connections, because every person that I've collaborated with, they've helped me to become who I am today and have the businesses running. Everyone's always like, how do you run so many businesses and also be a mom? You have like a brand new baby and you have your toddler and you're a track coach and, and you're a cross country coach and you're running three or four businesses. We never know how many you're running. And I honestly say it's because I believe in the power of collaboration and connection over competition. And there's, there's a lot of cleaning companies out there. Let's be honest. There's a zillion of them. And it's like, that just means that um, I have the opportunity to be successful, right? Like I have the opportunity to, if it's being successful in other places, I have the opportunity to share now, share my story and differentiate myself through that versus the same, you know, I offer cleaning services. Great. A lot of people offer cleaning services, but now I have my story, right? And I am able to make those connections and I'm able to do those things. Why did I start my cleaning company? Because I was a single mom and I couldn't afford help, but I was also in the police academy and I was in my master's program and I thrive in a clean environment, but I couldn't afford it. So I started my own. You know, I like, love that. right, the stories come and the stores are literally what sell. So good. So your guys' presentation is a blend of all the things you've just said, right? Teaching yeah. our, our audience, our business owners, how to get good at business in marketing, specifically with crafting messages that not only grab attention, but resonate and align with your passions and also connect to your audience's values, desires, and aspirations. Well, we cannot forget the money part of this. We're not in business if we're not making money, right? Well, maximizing on that ROI. So, so excited for what you guys have in store for the Get Good at Business Summit. This summit is completely virtual. It's across two days from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on March 15th and March 16th. So if you've been watching this interview and you're like, wow, Holly and Anna are amazing. I cannot wait to learn from them on the money mindset marketing side of things. Can't wait to dive in. Go to summit.getgoodatbusiness.com and type in Holly or Anna's name and you'll get a free ticket. So be sure to go to, again, it's summit.getgoodatbusiness.com. And Anna, Holly, thank you guys so much for joining me today. So excited for your presentation. So excited for what you're offering the world and helping so many people get good at business by sharing your experiences, your talent, your expertise. Thank you so much. And we will chat soon because we have another interview with them coming up as we lead into the summit. So stay tuned. And of course, really stay tuned by getting your ticket to the summit. Again, free if you type in Anna or Holly, you get it completely free and then you'll be able to join us and learn from them firsthand how to get good at business and how to utilize that money mindset marketing. So thanks so much.